Welcome back to He Can Fix Anything. Today I'm going to show you how to use these shark bite couplings to repair PEX pipe. Now in this particular installation, uh, there was some repair done in the crawl space after the pipes froze and the plumber accidentally mixed up the hot and cold. And so I need to cross these two over and that necessitates making a cut. I'm going to go ahead and cut these two joints because you don't want any more joints than necessary. And then I am going to piece in this new piece of PEX tubing to make that cross so we can get our hot and cold straightened out. Now the first thing you want to do is shut the water off to the faucet. Now this particular faucet does not have shut off valves and so I shut off the water in the main line to the house. Now to complete this job you're only going to need three things. You're going to need some PEX tubing to do the repair. You're going to need some of these shark bite couplers. And then finally, you're gonna need something to cut the pipe. Now this thing is overkill for the job. I actually have a cheap one that uh, I bought on Amazon that I was going to use and I couldn't locate it. So I ended up finding this one and I'm gonna use it, but you don't need to spend this kind of money for that simple of a job. And for these items, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. And the most important thing about these cutters is they need to be sharp. And so you can see these have a little bit of damage, so I'm not gonna use that area to cut, but you want the cut on this PEX pipe to be as clean as possible. So let's go ahead and cut this old joint out of here. Next, you're going to want to take this shark bite coupler. Notice there's a plastic inside here. That's gonna to need to line up with the inside of the tubing. And then you just push it on and it's locked. Then we'll connect on this side the same way. And it's locked. Next thing you wanna connect it on here. Sometimes these pipes are a little bit out around and it just takes a little bit of patience to get it lined up. There we go. Pushed on, locked into place. Now we're going to need to cross these over. And so basically want to get an idea of how long it needs to be and then cut this one to the correct length. One thing to take into account is the fact that when you insert the pipe into the connector, it's not going to go all the way to the center. And so these two, when they're cut, there's going to need to be basically this much of a gap in between uh, so that they're not too long. So we'll bring this over to where it's roughly lined up. Now you know the length should be about right there. You just bring it out like that. It's gonna take a little bit to get it lined up. And then push together. That's the first one. And then we'll do this one the same way. Bring it out, got to bend it a little bit, get it lined up. All clicked together. Now we're going to turn the water on and verify there are no leaks. Okay, the water is turned back on, everything's under pressure. And looks like everything is nice and dry. That's how to use the shark connectors, the shark couplers with PEX tubing. Hope you learned a lot and save yourself some money.